is the thought process and the strategy behind this? Actually, the the day when we heard about the inauguration of new parliament building by the Prime Minister of India, we are Congress party is consulting with all like-minded opposition party. We that day itself we given a reaction on this. This is actually undermining the President of India. And it is actually undermining the spirit of the constitution. You can see Article 79. What Article 79 is saying? The Parliament of the Union consists of President of India, President of consists of there shall be a parliament for the union which shall consist president and two houses. There shall be a parliament of the union consist of president and two houses of the parliament, Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. Now what you have done? Lok Sabha speaker inviting Prime Minister of India to inaugurate Lok Sabha Secretary General giving invitation card to the members of the Rajya Sabha also. You see that President given summons to the Lok Sabha members for convening parliament. President used to prorogue the parliament session. President has to give assent to the bills which was passed by the parliament. What does it mean? The president is the integral part of the parliament. Of course, President is the head of the, uh, the, the, head of the uh, nation. Along with the head of the nation, the president is the integral part of the parliament of India also. Now we are very much proud of, you people are everybody telling, every time telling that we are proud of a women tribal president. The way in which you undermine the president of India, the first woman tribal president of India, where is the justification? You are violating the constitutional principles. We are violating the port, port, um, protocols. You are violating the customs. That is why we, Congress party, discuss with all other like-minded political parties. I am very happy to say that, including TMC, Amatmi party, all are, including BRS also. They are all in agreement with this sentiments, boycotting the inaugural function. But sir, uh, when you when you are raising the issue of Article 79, Union Minister Hardeep Puri gave an example of 1975 and 1987 when Mrs. Sindra Gandhi, the then Prime Minister, uh, Rajiv Gandhi, then Prime Minister, inaugurated the parts of the Parliament, NXZ or, or or the Parliament Library. Biggest joke. <laughs> I'm oh, I'm surprised why Puri did not mention about the. Uh, building which has inaugurated like uh, the MP's flats by the ministers and prime ministers also. This is by uh, this is the parliament house where the parliament is going to conduct Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Is it like an annexing building? Biggest joke. I don't want to reply all of the things. Very surprised that he is not even mentioned about the uh, MP's flats which have been inaugurated by some of the ministers. Last question is to you, sir. Do you think that it's a, there is a strong message given by the, by the opposition party for boycotting this? Uh, so, uh, by uh, 19 opposition parties have boycotted this. Exactly. This, uh, that's why we are, that's why I'm really told we are very happy that all the opposition party, they are coming together to fight against this. Unilateral, dictatorial decisions of the prime ministers and the union governments. So in the joint statement, you have it is also being said that authoritarian prime minister totally, totally. No, no, you are deciding. Every, why? What is the problem? If president of India is uh, inaugurating, you should be there as a chief guest of the function. Everybody can attend. If president will be there, vice president will be there. And Prime Minister will be there. You would know, need not want their presence. Only you can inaugurate it. Prime Minister has to inaugurate it. This is totally other routine.
नमस्कार मैं हूं मानक गुप्ता अगर आपको हमारा ये वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो इसे लाइक और शेयर जरूर करें और हाँ हमें सब्सक्राइब और फॉलो करना ना भूलें ताकि आप देश और दुनिया की कोई खबर मिस ना करें तो जुड़े रहिए हमारे साथ और देखते रहिए न्यूज़ 24